¿Qué pasa contigo? Hi everyone, my name is Ida Chaba Grace and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make um this um channel is going to be about how to make turbans fascinators fascinators like this headbands like this like this ones that have this kind of band and the turban caps the ones that the fascinators are half caps like this okay so this is my first um video so i'm just going to be um telling you guys about the things the tools the equipment that you need to be able to start up your um start making up these things so first of all you need to get a pen and paper because these things i'm about to tell you they're much so you need to write them down so you won't forget first of all you're going to need the material the name of the material is scuba this is the material it's it's really soft it's like it has foam in it so when you're going to the market there are different types and styles of it so you can guess it but make sure you're getting the original the original is really soft and it's not hard they are hard ones too those ones are not really good next you need to get needle and thread this is you need to get different colors of thread and needles you need the long needles these ones these are what you need to get you can also use um you can also use the sewing machine but i don't use it because i don't have one yet and i learned with the needle and thread and also the needle and thread is really strong it, it hardly tears or cuts open so i i prefer using the needle and thread next you need the zigzag scissors this one so you can see it this is to create the design on the material and you also need a straight scissors too i don't have that yet but you also need um, a straight scissors then you need the hair clips these clips they are to fix on your fascinators like like this one you're going to fix it here so that you'll be able to pin it on your hair then you will need brooch brooches this iron brooch and you also need the cloth brooch like this there are different styles so you can also get any design of your choice then you need stones like this they are different they come in different colors in different sizes too different colors mm -hmm. and then you need the smaller stones the ones they use on clothes these ones i bought the entire bag these ones this this all these are just to design the turban that you're making then you need a measuring tape tape rope we all know that then you need a fishing line this is when you're making your um, fascinators and you're using the net like materials this one too this fishing line is going to hold it better and then you also need tailoring chalk so that you can this is this is a tailoring chalk so that you can mark where your uh, cut where you're going to cut this so that you will not make any mistakes and you need a ruler too so that you'll be able to draw the lines very well and you also need um, a breast pad this is to put behind the by the time i start making the uh tutorials on how to make the headbands or turbans and all of that you'll see where we're going to use the breast but you see where we're going to use all these things you also need this material this material is for another style of uh another style of turban or headband then you need the fed feathers you can buy the smaller feathers, the ones that come, the ones that come in yards. You can buy those ones, but I bought these ones because I couldn't find that one. These ones are mostly used on clothes, but you can see this one is for the design on the turban. Then you can also buy this net kind of thing. It's also to design it. That's what I use to do this on this fascinator. And this is also a clothes brush, so you need that too. 
you can use this one you can buy this net too this one is for fascinators like those ones they use for bridal train and all of those things then you need this material this shiny material that's what i used to make this so you see it's, it's part of the design on the dress so with that being said those are most of the things you need the scuba material you can buy any color of your choice and there are also different designs the ones that have horizontal lines on them and all of that you can buy those ones and they are pretty cheap too so you can get them in the market so this is going to be the end of my video please don't forget to share like and subscribe and come back with more videos teaching you guys how to make the turbans the hairbands the fascinators so you guys can be looking on flick every time and since because of the virus we're all at home i think that we should use this this opportunity this uh quarantine as an opportunity to learn new things so see you guys next time thanks bye